Hi, in this demo, I want to show you how easy it is to generate a docx file, edit it, collaborate on it with your team, make your required changes, and then upload that uh, docx file back into uh, PDF Butter and continue the process, just like you would normally uh, generate the PDF file and, for instance, mail it to your uh, primary contact. Okay. Let's first go to step one and configure the components. We have two components here. We have our document selection components to generate the docx file. And then we have our PDF butter inline edit components where you can upload the docx file or the PDF file. It also takes PDF files. So if it's a PDF file, it will just continue with the same process. For instance, it might be that you, you provide the docx file to your legal team. The legal team generates, uh, makes all the changes, puts in, uh, generates the PDF from it, and then provides you the PDF to continue the process. So both options are perfectly possible. Let's go to the configuration of these uh, components. The first component you already know, you just have to provide the config ID. Uh, in this case, I use the identifier for the, uh, for the record for the doc config. You can also have the long doc config ID. And then next we have, of course, our new components, which is called the generate and upload uh, document components. So if you drag and drop this one onto the uh, canvas here, you will see that component popping up and then it's ready to configure. In the configuration, for now, you can set which packages you want. So in this case, that's the uh, continuation of the process. Uh, for instance, you want to have a pack to uh, sign it. You want to have a pack to maybe uh, send it off to Slack or just mail it to your primary contact. So I make a list, a comma separated list of packs here that I want to have available, and that's uh, and that's it. Next up, you can say, well, I want to save the original file, means that the if you upload the docx file, it will uh, save the docx file into the files uh, section of this uh, record. Or uh, you can also say, well, I want to save the converted file, means that you can actually, uh, we will take the docx, convert it into a PDF before we send it off, and then that uh, PDF is saved uh, related to this uh, record. So that's the options that are there. Let's uh, save our configuration and then test this setup. So I, I just have a doc config, of course, with my quote, and I have here an, uh, a pack that will actually have an actionable. And this actionable will say that I want to email this, um, this document to my primary contact. And my primary contact in this case is my primary contact in the contact roles. So reasonable, straightforward setup, uh, but let's see how we can go through the demo. If I generate a docx file here, uh, it will, this component will generate the document and actually download it. From this download, I can now open this docx file. So I have my Word document here. Uh, let's do some changes. I'm just gonna add a small text here, create, Demo, hope to talk soon. Uh, let's say that I want to provide some more information on this uh, um, very uh, invite safe and clean. So just some changes that I want to make inside this document. Uh, let's highlight every change that I that I do here. And so, of course, this document can go off to your uh, legal team, can go off to your solutioning team. Uh, the entire all the teams can work together on this document and then provide it back to you at a certain moment. Uh, so that's what the process can be. Let's save this document and then let's close it. Let's go to the next step. So, in this next step. You have made your changes or your team has made your changes to the document and now you are ready to upload it. You can just drag and drop the document here or you can say, let's do the, uh, the upload files. As you can see here, I have my document. It was uh, just changed. And then if I open it, it will be available for uh, that it's right here in this overview. Okay, and now I have to make a decision. What is the next step that I wanna do with this document? Let's say I just want to uh, mail it to my primary contact. 
So I click the button here. What it will now do, it will take this document, it will first convert it into a PDF and then mail it out. That's how fast it actually goes. So everything has been mailed out correctly. I have already received an email because uh, by accident, uh, Jack has uh, the same email address as me. And uh, when I open this quote, preview it, it will hopefully have all the changes that I made to it. So yes, great demo, hope to talk soon. And then my comment on the, uh, on the engine here, right here. So that's how easy it is to actually inline in your process, uh, change a document and then upload it again and continue the process directly from Salesforce.